I am back. I am back. I'm not the only one that's back. Tokyo Ghoul is back. Tokyo Ghoul Route A. After like a couple weeks, we have been waiting for it to come back, and it's finally here. The hype is finally over with, so we can now finally enjoy this. Okay, Tokyo Ghoul Route A, we all thought it was going to be something completely different. We thought the people kept giving us like misinterpretation saying, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, but it's not. Instead, it's actually going off the manga just a little bit. Okay, let's, let's start off because so much has happened in this one episode. Let's, let's start with the opening, okay? Okay, the first season of Tokyo Ghoul opening was amazing. It was beautiful, the song was beautiful, the animation, everything about it was amazing. This one, this new opening of Rude 8, it sucks. And I mean, it really, really sucks because... It's all that showing is Kaneki and just him changing, putting on his mask and taking it off and, and all this other crap and, and then a blood tear and shit and it, nothing really happened. It didn't really pull me in. As we all know, openings what makes people pull pull them into the show. If you have a good opening, most of the times, no one's going to like it. But since we all know Tokyo Ghoul, we're going to get into that. Okay, this starts off with Kaneki saving Toka from getting her butt beat by her brother, Ayato. Ayato seems to have a lot of hate towards his father, but Toka seems to appreciate the father. As Ayato about slam finished Toka off, Kaneki comes in, plays off Superman, and saves her. And by the time she sees Kaneki, the look in his eyes, the white hair, he is a different person. Like, now... And further beyond, we're not going to have that old Kaneki, what we used to have, the one that was shy, kind of scared, and always cry a lot. We're not going to see that Kaneki no more. It's be a completely different dude, okay? And the things I was kind of disappointed in this episode is because if you are a manga reader like me, and you have high expectations sometimes for anime, so when you go watch it, but then you read it as well, you're like, why didn't he do that? Because the fight between Ayato and Kaneki was supposed to be more epic than it was in the anime. I mean, like, so much more was supposed to happen. I will not spoil it for you. I really want you to read the manga for yourselves. So anyways, the fight didn't even end with a winner. Instead, Noro, the guy with the mask with just a face on it, came in and stopped the fight. And going on with Noro, Noro really catches my interest of all the Argori bad guys he catches my interest because this guy seems to like even when you cut him completely half he'll just regenerate just like that so he's really a special case and I guess his nickname is Mr. High C or for some reason next is Wolf Al one eye Al all the dubs all the top dubs are there even Amon they're all trying to fight one eye Al but no matter what they do they cannot take this guy down he really is the king of fools man no matter what they did, even when they pulled out their secret prototype anti ghoul mech suits, they still couldn't do anything to him. And even the fact, even to the point of the tower falling on him, he even saved their lives. So, in the end, they could do nothing to one eye out because he is so freaking powerful. Next, on the whole entire building starts going down, everything's just crashing down. And by the end, all the smoke has cleared. A lot of people had died when nothing was truly gained from all this. It was just a trap. I already set a trap for a dove to come in and doves fell for it. In the end, both sides lost a lot of blood. I don't think I really cares that much for the people they lose as the doves did. But anyways, after Kaki saves to Toka and they have their final moments near the end of this episode, she could already tell that Kaki has changed and and to the point that it's not the one she wants. But she even starts saying, hey, you need to change your hair because you'll stick out. You go back to go back to the coffee shop. And Kanye just like says, he ain't going back. He's gonna go after a gory tree and try to put them down. And then and as you can clearly see as she walks off, he turns around. That's a symbol of him turning away from his humanity. He is no longer gonna be like that old Kanye that was very merciful and Simplifies for everybody. No, he's going to kill you on instant if you're in his way. It was just sad because something could have been between Kanki and Toka because that has been a big shipping all over Facebook and all over any other internet internet site. People wanted Kanki and Toka to be together, 
but I don't see what's going to happen now. So anyways, as things going on, I, when the ash was falling down from the sky, it was a great song. I'm like, why couldn't this be the opening song? This is a great song playing, and they show um, Agori, the top leaders of Agori, walking into the door, and um, Kanaki following them. And some of the members of Agori that catches my interest besides Nero is also Nato, the little girl one of all the manages. I don't know what she is, but someone tell me she is something big. I mean, something really big that's going to happen within the series. I do not know. I hope so. But anyways, I'm, I have mixed feelings of how should I review this. Because this is the first episode. It's, it's anime, and anime is its own thing it's from the manga. It's part of me like, no, man, just give it, a, give it a six or seven. Because it was freaking, they took things out, and things didn't go the way I wanted it to go. But then yet again, not many people have read the manga. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. It was still enjoyable and the animation was great. It seems like they have themselves a high ass budget on this. So we're not gonna have any crappy animation whatsoever in this whole entire series. So we got 11 more episodes to go. I am ready for the ride and so are you. So anyways, for more Tokyo Route A reviews, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you could, I'll be much obliged. This is Macron Mame, signing out.